Thank you so much. All right, our first uh, student athlete on tonight's uh, call is ACC Tournament MVP, Michael DeVoe. We'll uh, take questions for Michael. Uh, please use the raise hand function in Zoom if you have a question. We'll call on people individually, beginning with Kelly Quinlan from Rivals. Congrats, Mike. Um, just what was going through your mind is Jose Steeles, you, you hit the layup that obviously put the game away. Just what were the flood of emotions after that ball goes in the basket? Um, just a lot of emotions, um, joy, happiness, everything. I mean, this goes down to history for us. Um, it's been a journey um, for us as a team, me individually, everything. So um, for us to win this and, and people counted this out and just staying down and staying with us and staying as a brotherhood um, is so surreal for me. Next question comes from Rod McKenzie from 247 Sports. Hey, Michael, do you think that the, this stretch run you guys went on had a lot to do with you guys finally, you know, learning how to play the full 40 minutes? For sure. Um, for us, we I, I feel like every game we get better. Um, we learn new things when we watch film and, and just see what, what type of play style we need to play like, how our energy level is certain games are not where we need to be. So for every game, we just, I, I feel like we get better. So um, we just got to continue that. Um, right now, it's not the end for, of our story that we're writing, and uh, we just got to continue it. Next question, Ken Segura from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Um, Michael, I, I just thought that the way you guys defended and, and created turnovers was such a huge part of it. Um, I know you guys did really well with that for the first game, the second game in, at McCamish, but Kind of describe just what what how you guys what you guys were like you know getting digging out so many balls. I mean, for us, it was just coming out with the tons of energy. Um, this is a championship game; it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. So for us, um, we came out with everything. Um, we wanted to force them for turnovers. We wanted them to play um, like the way we wanted them to play. So um, for us, it was a great team that we beat. Um, we give credit to them as well. So, but um, for us, we just came out with that high energy, and we're a hard team to beat when everybody's connected. Next question, Raphael Haynes from the Three Point Conversion. Hey, Michael. Uh, first of all, congrats. How does it feel being named the um, MVP of the ACC tournament? I know you talked about the team as a whole, but just personally, how does it feel just with everything you've gone through your whole career at Georgia Tech? Um, it's huge for me. Um, it's truly a blessing. Um, I feel like I've been disrespected for the last two years on the ACC selections. Um, but um, for me, it's just something I use for as motivation and, um, and, and to play with a little chip on my shoulder. So um, this is huge for me. Um, it's definitely all the hard work has definitely paid off and um, it's continued to keep doing that and keeping my head down and, and, and staying focused. So for this, it's, it's huge for me. Question from Jeff Schultz from The Athletic. Yeah, Mike, I was wondering if you could remember what the feeling was like around the team after the first two games of the season. Uh, it was like the world was ending. Um, for us, uh, we, we, we thought that we, are, we, we were going to be better than what we were when the first two games of the season. I mean, um, losing to Mercer and Georgia State, it was the two tough losses that we did not want. So um, for us, it was, it, was, it was the end of the world. But at, at the end of the day, we had to, we had to realize that we needed to get better. So um, we just used it as motivation. And um, Coach kept talking about that every game is a, you don't want to feel like those first two games of the season. So for us, we just had to come out every game with that energy level and, um, and just look back on those things and it's a learning lesson. Do you remember him saying anything to you guys after that second game or the next day at all? Um, same thing I just said. I mean, he, he thought the goal was ending as well. He just told us that, hey, we, it's, it's, we have to stay in the gym. We have to get better and, um, and just, hey, don't count us out, you know? Thanks. Next question uh, comes from another one from Kelly Quinlan from Rivals. Mike, kind of what was the, I guess, conversation like on the court and the, and the celebration piece of this like for you guys? Uh, it was amazing. Joyful from all the guys, the coaching staff. I mean, it was, it was something that we talked about in the beginning of the season is um, that's what we wanted. We wanted the ACC championship, and we felt like we were good enough to do it with the guys that we have, the veterans that we have. Um, it, it was a great, great group, and, and especially the new guys that, that have joined our team as well. Man, it, it played a huge part. So. Um, for us, it's something that we, a goal that we had in mind, but um, like I said, it's, it's not the end. So um, for us, we got to continue this play that we've been playing for the last stretch right here and um, continue it as we go to Indiana. 
Okay, we have time for just a few more. Uh, we'll start with one from Bryce Kuhn from uh, 247 Sports. Then we'll take one from Patrick Canaro and one more from Ken Segura and we'll wrap up with Michael. So Bryce, please go ahead. Michael, you hit the nail on the head when you talked about communication. Um, it, it was up there. I mean, you don't force these turnovers against a good team like this unless you have great communication. Is that right. something personally you took uh, upon yourself and just as defensively this entire unit? For sure. Um, for us, uh, we got leaderships on this team that um, coming from me, Jose, um, th those those type of guys. So for us, um, it, we, we emphasize that, hey, we need to get stops. This is a great team. And um, if we stop them and get in transition, it's hard for us to, to lose to that. So um, for us, um, like they, they have a really good defensive team. So for us, we wanted to get them out in transition and score for those and get e easy buckets from that. So um, that, that's the thing that we just told the guys and uh, we emphasize the whole game. Patrick. Michael, congratulations. Uh, take us to the tag end of this game. You're nursing a lead. You're playing Florida State, Barnes and MJ Walker. Both can hit the three. And here comes Jose with that last steal. He floats that pass to you. What were your feelings at that particular moment as you're about to clinch the game for Georgia Tech? Um, to be honest with you, man, it was, it was a lot of emotions. It was, hey, this is something that they didn't believe that we would do. Um, it's something that, that uh, a lot of people counted us out. Um, it was a lot of joy. It was a lot of, hey, man, all the hard work has definitely paid off. I mean, it was, it was tons of emotions in my head. And I, I know for it was a ton of emotions for the whole team. Um, we've been through a lot. So through this whole year, I mean, it's been COVID and all the type of things that we've gone through. So, I mean, for this, it was, it was, it was so surreal. So it was just, it, it was a lot of emotions. And go ahead and wrap us up with Michael. All right, um, Michael, can you describe just Jose's uh, leadership today? You obviously, you know, when you talk about energy, he's the guy that kind of starts it and, you know, particularly on the defensive end with uh, all the balls he was getting his hands on. I mean, we, we it starts with Jose. Um, for us, his energy load that he brings is, I mean, you can't ask any, anything better than that. So um, for him, he played an outstanding game. Um, he led us, he did what he was supposed to do, and um, he, he's a, he's a He's an amazing player, so uh, I'm glad that I chose this school when I when I was in high school, and I chose to come here and play alongside um, Jose. And um, I've learned a lot from him and how hard he plays and his his grit and all the type of stuff that he does. So, um, man, I'm so proud of him, and um, we just got to continue this. Mike, congratulations! Thank you. We'll talk to you next week in Indy. Thank you guys so much.